This will take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. <sighs> I told you. I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. Soot and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Marco and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only dying is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dan. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we have. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Ecstatic. Convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. I don't get it. 
Why burn the whole town? To craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lied right through their teeth. Murderers. <laughs> that they are. Still, there's a whole lot of blood on my hands, too. I push for the reactor. I put us on the path that brought us here. Barrett. The saucer's waiting. really how it's gonna be. Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. The gold saucer. Huh? So turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. Lockhart and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look! Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. Cloud, the others are waiting. Hey, 
Such a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? You can do this, Cloud. Of my thanks. 
One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> Four. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Thanks! Teensy little break! All those in favor! Hmm? Me! Me! <laughs> Me. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yay yeah or nay? I, uh... Have your fun <sighs> while you still have time. Hey, maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get some sleep, okay? Hmm, let's see. The hotel's gotta be that way. Have here a man with a rain cloud over his head. So, how about a reading to clear those somber skies? Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future right. Just let me go shoot the messenger. Eh? This is some kind of toy. You do lads. Eyes up here. Huh. Look, Kate Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. It's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike, though. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. Uh, got any rooms? 
there's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen. But it appears we're all booked up for the night. For uh, crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? Huh? Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? It feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> to the loo. Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. Hmm. There you are. The offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you true. You can answer any question? But of course! Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. You think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. All right! Hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait, don't go! Third time's a charm! Come on, you stupid thing! Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek, and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <laughs> you good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. See what this crap does. My apologies, sir. Goodness me! under the name Palmer. Director of Space and Aeronautics? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. <laughs> it says here you canceled those rooms. What? No, we didn't. <laughs> While 
Well, we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites. Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. <sighs> Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, waitress. Shake it off. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you. More tired than I thought. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. seen material like this before something about the color Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. <laughs> You're supposed to say thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. Thank you. Hey, did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Vix. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. <laughs> sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get Biggs. Right now. 
Mean it? Always do. Honest and true. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes. Sometimes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Not bad, kid. Anything? Some food? Water? I'm fine. You were right, just needed some sleep. <sighs> you alone? Yeah, Red's off doing his own thing, and Aerith and Yuffie are taking a spin on the sky wheel. They're only letting couples on tonight. So here I am, the odd woman out. They hit it off quick, huh? Must be nice to make friends that easily. What, like you can't? I don't know. I act like I can, think I always have, ever since I was a kid. Anyway, you up for a little exploring? With me, I mean, no pressure. Of course I'm up for it. into this you can see how people end up in debt yeah let's make sure we don't oh wow honestly darling if you wanted to spend time with me you only had to ask what are you doing in this place why celebrating of course <laughs> my little jaunt to Costa del Sol proved fruitful Now I'm flushing all that gill down the toilet. I swear, every time one of Sam's chocobos takes first. Probably doping his birds, the con artist. <sighs> Enough about me, though. What about you? Surely you've got better things to do than listen to me vent. Like paying attention to your girlfriend. <laughs> Go have fun before she gets bored with you. Whatever. Welcome to the Chocobo Racetrack. Do you currently have a membership with us, sir? No. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I'm afraid our services are for members only. Oh, that's too bad. Might have been fun. All of our guests are more than welcome to watch the races on the monitors, however. You'll find them just overhead. Welcome, cadets, to Space Ranger HQ. Our mission today is a vital one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy. Sir! Sir! Uh? <laughs> Sir! <laughs> is that how you were back when you enlisted? Not quite that great, I hope. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> this place looks fun, huh? Now we're talking. That one's practically calling your name. Bet you'd kill on it. But it's for kids. <laughs> You're afraid of a little video game? 
Whatever. Let's see how it stacks up against the real thing. It's Jesse. Back when I was still finding my feet in Midgar, I ran into some trouble. But she took me under her wing, helped me out, saved me, really. Sounds like her. I admired her. She was so cool and confident. Like nothing could bring her down. Yeah, I know. I owe her so much. Thank you for everything. Well, shall we? Yeah. So, where to next? The races, maybe? Not again. Done for the day, I guess. She was always a star, but just imagine her up there. Yeah. Wish I could have seen it. Well, look who it is. We meet again. I must say, your duel with Dio earlier was a sight to behold. <laughs> Gave me goosebumps. The stage calls to you, begs for you to bear your soul upon it. What are you doing out here? The park director requires my talents for a show. Huh. My fancy footwork, to be precise. What do you say? Shall we cut a rug? No. Not even the limelight can melt that icy heart. Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. <laughs> Looks fun, huh? <sighs> What's going on? I... I don't know. Your attention, please! We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks. Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding, and have a wonderful day. Cloud, we've got trouble. Is that a cat? What is it? Get to the Coliseum, on the double. Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. I'll round up your pals for you, all right? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. This has to be a mistake. Let's go find out. No, uh, excuse me. Copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay. Please.
It's like I told you. Someone went on a rampage. And now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? <laughs> a director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier, when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen, with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... a gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, 
Why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Mug it. Maim it. Murder it. It's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Hmm? Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. <laughs> Shit. Try that if I was you. <laughs> All right, follow me. Up, up. <laughs> Off we go. You just wait right there. Hey, boss, your guests are here. to welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Uh, Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> but which one of you is it? Is it you, you, maybe you, or is it the pooch? I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let Please me just say, bravo. It. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, man. hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So, the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the woods. Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I give him something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, until you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pigs. Hey, chill out, Gil. We'll take excellent care of you. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say... There are plenty of other ways to raise the funds on the clock. You put a price on anything. Ah, uh -uh. that's Gus to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Later. All right, Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> Yo, brought your new champ. He's all yours. So you're Cloud the Merc. 
Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrimp. Hi, Master. Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? The one, fryer. <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Greetings, friend. You, sir, have excellent timing. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And, as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying while one and only one is telling the truth. Your job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. Welcome to Bale Jumper, watering hole for the dregs of the Dust Bowl. Heard you're in the market for some greens. Maybe. If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours for the taking. Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to it in ages. Here, go see for yourself. Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. The place is crawling with them. Congratulations! Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever ones like this are harder to fool. But, so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir! As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those greens are hard to find in a place like this. Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? Hmm? Old Pico's right as rain, and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> oh, before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. No need to say a word. I already know your story. You're on the hunt for chocobo greens, am I right? Well, I'd be willing to scratch your back, provided you'd be willing to scratch mine. My casino happens to be plagued by a gaggle of rather eccentric Queen's Blood players. I'd love it if someone could take them down a notch or two. So... Think you're up to the task? I'll handle it. Much obliged. Outlandish though they are, they play a mean game. So mean that it's scaring away my clientele. I need someone to get out there and prove they can be beaten. Got three troublemakers in total. Still looking for action, no doubt. Thanks in advance. Before you go, though, you should take a look at the cards I have for sale. I guarantee they'll come in handy. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Knight. And I have obtained intel on a new opponent for you. There is a somewhat mysterious player by the name of Novalon in North Corel. Having proven yourself as a knight, I believe you can defeat this formidable foe. And there's the man of the hour. Thanks to your efforts, demand for Queen's Blood is back and stronger than ever. It's at an all-time high, which means my profits should be too. You did me a great favor. Take this as a token of my thanks. Before you go, though, I have some cards I'd highly recommend for a player as skilled as yourself. 
You won't want to miss out. Now we can have a nice private talk without anyone butting in. <laughs> <laughs> it's time you got a lesson in the way things work around here. Don't worry, you can thank us later. <laughs> you know, you could have just told us you were out of our league. I mean, uh, thanks for the match. It was a real learning experience. Wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh, right. We got something special for you. A gift to remember us by. Here. And with that, we'll hurry up and get out of your hair. Right, boys? Yeah. Very sorry to have troubled you. But we won't do it again. Promise! No time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. That work for you? Say what? <laughs> Fine. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. A bug boy? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh-huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track. And all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills? Or with one of them smoldering looks. <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition. Assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. <laughs> Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. that recent shooting. <sighs> You're not talking about the Coliseum, are you? Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. <gasps> You're so lucky. Aren't I just? <laughs> Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Got eyes on him. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. God, what asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream! Is vanilla No, okay? vanilla. Seriously? I'm gonna heat stroke over here! I'm gonna die! You want that? Do ya? <sighs> Wish you were here, partner. I knew I 
I'm back to winner. You're the real deal, kiddo. I just provided the encouragement. And thanks to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace. Good for you. Ooh, so frosty. But here in the desert, we like it hot, fiery, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now where's our guy? Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Are you scared I'll break my promise? That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. But now he's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. You guys moving on then? And what are you gonna do? Since you put Pico's name on the map, we'll stick around for a bit. Try and get a winning streak going. Besides, we still got a score to settle. Sure you'll be okay on your own? No man with a bird is ever truly alone. Hey, Cloud. I know you need to hit the road, but if you're ever itching to get back in the saddle, come around. Pico will be here. No, we'd love a victory lap. Sun for weeks. Thank God we found you. We were worried. You on the lamp, big guy? The hell I am. Ugh. What are you guys doing all the way out here anyway? Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said the culprit had a gun for an arm. They did, huh? Tell me it wasn't you. Frankly, it might as well have been. Barrett, talk to us. <sighs> I know the man who murdered all those people. Dying, my best friend. It was four years ago. The corral reactor had just gone up. Dine and I had been to check it out, see what the deal was. But on our way back... None of this makes any sense. That explosion could have brought down the whole mountain. So where the hell's Shinra? That's a damn good question. <sighs> Whatever. We need to get back and tell them what we found. God, no. Shinra, they just showed up and started shooting. I think they're trying to cover up what happened at the reactor. To pin the blame on... Hey! Over here! Please. The 
This ain't happening. God damn it. The village. Marlene and Eleanor might still be there. For what? <laughs> Still so quick to throw in the towel, ain't you? Come on. Damn it. Do I have to do everything? Shinra has a reputation for safety to uphold. Which makes you liabilities. Oh, how very great. So Marlene's... I managed to get away, but I was bleeding out. Figured that was it. Until Doc Sheeran came along and saved me. Put me back together. Most of me, anyway. There was no saving my arm, so I made a call. Instead of the normal prosthetic, I chose a means to an end. Gus Stein had the same idea. I guess he did. I resigned myself to the fact that he was dead, but if I'd known he'd survive too, I... So that's why Dain shot all those people? To get back at Shinra? I don't know. And I saw him at the saucer. Saw the bodies and the bullet holes. But that's not who Dine is. Whatever his faults, he's not a monster. If I can find him, talk to him. I know we can figure this out. Well, okay! What are we waiting for? No time like the present. And you're sure he's here? We're sure. your heart dropping by for Eleanor's birthday. 
his kind doing here you son of a bitch still living on Shinra's kill no man it ain't no. like that <laughs> Goes again, our fearless friend. Forgive me.
This ain't shit! Marlene, I, I can't remember. Come on, you can do this. You can still save him. I'm gonna kill you! What have you done to yourself, man? It's tough, he's gone. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... I thought it changed our lives. It changed them all right. You know, I can hear it now. Eleanor, as clear as day, begging me to stop, give you the benefit of the doubt, saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know. Shinra! Always Shinra! Oh. I took, 
fill the void they left. I want to see them again, and I know what I need to do, but I can't. I just can't. Eleanor and Marlene are waiting for me, but I can't bring myself to join them. Marlene, she's alive. Just turned four. She's a Nipka. Look at that. She's got her mommy's eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were, too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. She nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, she's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew, and still you took her. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. Dying, we can go see Marlene right now. Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop! With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Guilt. That weight. Dying. Dying. Baby. that Gus guy was just yanking her chain. Same. That 
said. Is it okay to let the director get involved like this? Were you going to stop him? Deploying riot control armor. All units are to pull back now. Well, have fun down there, boss man. Duty calls. Lend me your 
your strength. We gotta go. They'll be on us any minute. They're on us now! this to eavesdrop can never be too careful but you're innocent and I was wrong by way of apology I gift you this <sighs> you will receive a proper burial I promise you thanks well what are we waiting for let's go <laughs> Um, is this not a bit much, sir? Hm. The safety of my every guest is paramount. I don't know what happened in Midgar, but to me it matters not. <laughs> you are always welcome, my friend. Mm. 
starting to think you might. Come on. Looks like this is goodbye, old buddy.
saying, you're in an awfully good mood. Well, it's been productive. <laughs> Don't have too much fun. Sir, what is the status of the ancient? We still have eyes on her. Is she looking for the promised land? We don't believe so. I see. Is she a higher priority than the materia? <laughs> Not her so much as her birthright. It's a dream of mine, to see it with my own eyes. Understood. We'll step up surveillance. Oh, come on. 
You know me. And I know you, Mr. President. You and your fears. <laughs> Still just a child, aren't you? A pig-headed, pathetic, daddy-hating child. And under that bratish exterior, loneliness. I don't deny it. Why would I? It's brought me all this. Now that's the spirit I'm looking for. We really need more people like you. To give the world a shot in the arm. Let's start this manhunt. Hmm? Is that? <laughs> There's our man. to know. I'm a 9 to 5 nobody at a small Shinra subsidiary. Another paper shuffling, copy paste and forwarder of emails. Another Shinra lapdog. Lap cat. My mistake. But you lot are special. Properly special. Never met a special group of people in all my life. How could I not tag along? How could I not tag along? <laughs> Bullshit. Come now, this is a road trip. We should be bonding, not fighting. Oh. Barrett, promise me you won't take down Scarlet unless I'm there with you. All right, I promise. If you don't give up the ghost right here and now, that is. I won't let some stupid guard get the better of me. Not before I punch that witch right in the mouth. Oh, that's it. I can't. Wait, just, just wait. We'll find somewhere to. Pull over. She's about to pop. Wait, Lassie, not in the buggy. Not in the buggy. Feeling any better? Ugh, leave me. Hmm. Where to now? We don't have any leads, and driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is... The worst idea ever! When you don't know where life's leading, You should get yourself a reading! Ooh. Meow, 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 meow.
Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um, mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. Wait, Barrett. You mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor. Did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Reactor? Materia! Okay, I'm good. Everybody, get in the car! Let's go, go, go! <sighs> well, couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. Just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? Oh, Cloud? Mind taking the wheel? All right. Pour it south through the sands till we start seeing green. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can see Mako. Cloud, I've detected proto-relic signals emanating from a nearby modular reactor. I'm sending you its location. I would like to hear that. Fortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed. You would do well to leave, that I may collect what is by rights mine. You think the proto relic is yours? Proto what now? Relic, you say? Ha! Ah, a ridiculous name, unworthy of my treasure. What you names covet is none other than a prize in my resplendent arsenal. The get Uh-oh. Oh. oh. This form! I can hold it no longer! Oh. Oh. Oh no, down I go! Oh, what was that? <sighs> oh, thank goodness I finally got through. Are you all right? I'm fine. But what the hell was that just now? I'm investigating the matter as we speak. In my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. That was very impressive work, Cloud. Using the data from your battles, I've devised a new trial for the simulator. Which I supervised. I think you'll find it to be a most fascinating scenario. So please, do give it a try. Some sort of monster's den. A fortress, if you will. Whatever it is, I don't think we can get inside. <sighs> Whoa. Commencing scan. I believe I have a match. The symbols resemble those found in the Book of Kings, an ancient tome. Allow me to translate. Hmm. Interesting. Well then, in order to unlock this door, you'll need to locate a cactuar rock hidden somewhere in the desert. What kind of rock? A mineral deposit named for its distinct cactuar shape. Now that Cloud has made contact with this door, the rock we seek should be marked by a green glow. By the way, do you happen to...
happen to see a cactuar shaped statue anywhere nearby? Uh... Oh! That's it! That statue should guide you to the rock I spoke of, which in turn will serve as the key to the door. So we must prove ourselves worthy. I know you can do it. Proto Relic is the treasure of the sands, it seems, which they have kept safe for generations. Moreover, they are duty bound to ensure its safety until its rightful owner comes to claim it. Wonder who that is. Hmm. For all we know, it could simply be a myth. You're saying these guys have their own fairy tales? Sounds pretty silly to me. Hang on a sec. Who are you calling a fairy? Whoa! No need for all that. Name's G, Kid G. Descended from a long line of goblins. I look after these cactuars. It's a duty passed down to me from my forebears. Wait, you can talk? <sighs> Speech ain't that hard, lady. Where there's a will, there's a way. Given your present company, I'm shocked you haven't shaken that preconception. <laughs> he does have a point. Quoth Cactuar Scripture, the Book of Kings. Unto those who seek the treasure of these sands, a trial shall be given. <laughs> if you think you've got what it takes to be the treasure's rightful owner, you're gonna have to prove it first. Where'd they all come from? And now your trial. Take down the cactuars within the time allotted. If you can. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves a volunteer. Who? Oh, me? <laughs> Gotta say, I'm impressed. You gonna hand over the photo relic then? Hmm? Never heard anyone call it that before. But I'm a goblin of my word. So here. And so, as promised, your piece of the prize. Piece? We want the whole thing, Shrimp! Then you're gonna need to go around and gather up the other bits. Put it together yourself. Right. So what you're saying is... That more trials await. And that yours truly will be your guide. See you next time. Unexpected and exhilarating turn of events. An ancient treasure guarded by an army of cactuars and a goblin. Not to mention the mysterious giant of the sands and the Book of Kings. Huh. Increase in body temperature detected. I believe I'm rather excited. <laughs> I've already picked up another signal from the Proto Relic. Or rather, the treasure of the sands. Head for Modular Reactor 2. Say. How many of these mini-reactors are there, anyway? Several. These modular Mako reactors were erected throughout the desert as a means of generating and supplying power to the Gold Saucer. To avoid accelerating the desertification of the region, the reactors are periodically cycled between active and dormant states. Who would have thought all that glitz and glamour came at such a high cost? In any case, the reactors have been ingeniously repurposed by the Cactuars, and within these fortresses, they may secure their treasure. I honestly doubt Shimmer could produce anything half as resilient 
is this combination of sand and cactuar nectar. Cloud, I've analyzed the data from your latest bout and graded your performance. You've earned a 10 out of 10. Uh, Cloud, apologies, my speaking out of turn. Pay her no mind. You get a 3 out of 10. I what? Those sound like questionable metrics. Never mind. We'll discuss this later. Cloud, I've come up with a new combat trial for you. Why not give it a go? What are you waiting for? Go on, touch it. <laughs> Ladies first. Oh no, you're way better at the whole putting yourself in harm's way thing. Fine. Word of advice? Don't fight it. Yes, heed the voice of experience. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Let's head back to the reactor. <laughs> you know how this ends. <laughs> do I ever? But to you? Holy crap! Let's see, who looks fit to fight? Ooh, me! Can I give it a go? <laughs> Fine by me. If the little lady wants to show off, I say let her. Wow, you sure showed me. And I still thought you might be no better than a bunch of bumbling bandits. We done now? <laughs> Not even close. You've still got two more pieces to collect, and they won't come easy. Ah, but I could use a bit of time to shore up the next trial, seeing as you kind of breezed through the first two. How's about we put things on pause? Here, give me your contact info. That way, I can hit you up when the trial's good and ready. What? Cloud, I think it would be wise to oblige his request. Mm, perfect. You'll be hearing from me soon. Peace. Our hunt is on hiatus? For the time being. I'm afraid our only viable course of action is to await further instructions. Cloud! Upon analyzing the data from the life spring, I was able to locate a new transmuter chip. The chip can be found in a village abandoned due to desertification. This erosion will spread if left unchecked, and eventually, the entire village will be swallowed by the sands. Do try to collect the chip before that happens. Thanks to you, Cloud, I was able to successfully extract data on the deity. Well done! That concludes our thrilling analysis of the Corel Summon Crystals. I can't tell you how grateful I am for everything you've helped me learn about Alexander. Thank you. Ah, though you have yet to obtain the requisite materia, as I recall, you'll first need to confront the Divine via the Combat Simulator. Well done, Cloud. You've managed to complete all combat assignments in the Corel region. What assignments they were! You faced so many fiends! Sholopods, Spearhawks, Landworms, Chimeras... That's quite enough. Anyway, I've added a new combat trial to the simulator, Cloud. Do check it out sometime. Cloud! I've ascertained the whereabouts of the Sovereign of all Tonberries, the Tonberry King. Now is our chance to learn his royal secrets. Rumor has it that this king wears a most beautiful crown. Why not take this opportunity to relieve him of it? Hey, perfect timing, bro. I was actually hoping to ask you for a little favor. As you know, your boy's debt-free. 
figured I'd make the most of my financial solvency and give the inn a total makeover. Thing is... You short on hands? Ah, uh, if only, my dear bro. Kind of the opposite problem, actually. Oh, Johnny, a name thou hast claimed is thine. But if thou truly Johnny B, then who, pray tell, am I? So yeah, it's your classic existential crisis. You get the idea. Uh... Beds have all been made. What's next? Huh? Oh, hey, bro. I, I, I told you to stay out of sight. You're just gonna confuse them. Aren't you supposed to be out shopping anyway? Go on, shoot. Aww. How come he gets to talk to my bro and I don't? So unfair. Uh, see what I have to deal with? This wouldn't have anything to do with me using my ninja skills to create a bunch of clones, would it? Turns out a few of them managed to stick around somehow. And I think they might have even multiplied. <laughs> I mean, I never doubted my amazing abilities, but even I didn't realize I was capable of doing that. But hey, look on the bright side. At least you aren't short-staffed. Oh, but I am. I sent a crew to fetch materials and haven't heard a word from them since. Turns out I can't rely on myself. My other selves. I'm begging you, bro. You gotta help me out here. A Johnny's a wild beast that can't be tamed. You know that. There's no telling what sort of havoc these bad boys might wreak. Maybe we should lend him a hand? <sighs> Fine. Yes! I knew I could count on you, bro! I sent them off to the coast of Falls to look for materials for the renovations. I want to start there. Stop, my bro! What, what are, are you doing, doing here? Uh, Johnny sent me to check on you guys, help you find materials. Oh, that was pretty smart of me! No, no one knows, knows me better than myself! myself. And uh, this whole synchronized talking thing is kind of creepy. We had actually already gathered everything we needed, but then we ran into some fiends and had to zip line for our lives. So unless they took our stuff for some weird reason, everything should still be right where we dropped it. You think? You'll help us get it all back, won't you, bro? The more pieces you pick up, the better off me and me will be. Having our... So, so you, you find, find anything, anything bro? bro? They ought to be all around the zip lines, right where we dropped them. You'd be doing us a solid by tracking them down. Come on, don't leave us hanging. We need your help. So, so you, you find, find anything, anything, bro? Whoa. Honestly, we don't even remember collecting this much stuff. You're incredible. You got that right. Our bro's a cut above. I guess we better get this hall back to our palace, kinda, sorta, by the sea. Which means our work here is done, right? Well, since you asked, a couple of the other Johnnies went looking for parts to fix the boiler. Wait, there's more of you? Yep, and I bet they can really use your help. I think they were headed toward one of those old Republic-era factories. Tell them Johnny says hi! It's a thing we do. Johnny said that you needed my help. What? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Wait, was, was it you? you? Not, Not me. me. So, so you're, you're saying, saying it was me? me. No, no way. You're, you're too stubborn, stubborn to ask for help. help. Hey, you're, you're talking, talking shit about me? <laughs> you two are a riot. Have you thought about starting a two-man show? I bet it'd be a smash hit, right? So? Well, we were looking for a part to help us repair the boiler. But it turns out, nobody makes it anymore. Then we thought, why don't we just make it ourselves? So to do that, we're hunting for a transmuter chip. Any luck? Sure wish we had a chocobo right about now. <sighs> okay, I'll take it from here. So Sweet! We're looking for instructions on how to craft a boiler valve. And if you find one of those chips, feel free to just transmute a valve yourself. Are you trying to give us even more work? You two are the best! Oh, baby, this is it! That boiler is as good as fixed! Hot, steamy showers in every room! 
<sighs> well, we should probably report back to Johnny now that we've bailed out all the others. Uh, actually... There's one more. <sighs> Where is he? Said he wanted to give the hotel royal flair by putting the Tonberry King's crown on display. Last we heard, he was desert bound. Hope he's not dying of thirst or knife wounds. You wouldn't mind going to check on him for us, would you, bro? Not at all. You're, You're the, the best. best! Well, we got a boiler to fix, so we're gonna head back. Our other life is in your hands, bro. Is that a mirage? I can't believe you're here, bro! Me neither. Well, I'm glad you are. You see, we're renovating the hotel. And I thought a Tonberry King's crown would give the place that palatial feel. But it's, uh, somewhere over there. Rumor has it, the Tonberry King lives somewhere nearby. But there's no way your boy Johnny can get through the desert on foot. Listen, bro, I don't know if you were planning to check out the dunes, but if you are, you'd really be doing me a solid if you brought me back that crown. Preferably in the most pristine condition possible. Fine. Just sit tight. You already know where to find the king. Just gotta pay him a visit. Oh, your kindness is bringing me to tears, bro. I eagerly await your safe and fruitful return. Just don't keep me waiting too long. We Johnnies are delicate flowers that wilt in the desert heat. If it's a fight you want... <laughs>
be the new king of the Tonberries. By analyzing the king's biometrics, we can better understand Tonberry's social structures. Our research proceeds apace. Thank you, Cloud. Another crown smashed by an incomparable Yuffie. Let's hurry up and get this to Johnny. You took down the Tonberry King for us? Thanks, bro. On behalf of all Johnnies. So, where's the crown? Shine on that baby! It is positively legendary! And we went through positively legendary trouble to get it for you. Don't worry. The fruits of your labor are gonna be on full display. Man, I can't wait to see the look on my face when I see this! I'm gonna take this baby back to the hotel. Be sure to swing by when you have the chance. I'm sure one of me will have something real nice waiting for you. All of me made it back in one piece. And it sounds like I really put you through the ringer. Sorry about that. <laughs> no biggie. So, what now? Want me to poof him? What? No, not yet. We're in the middle of renovating, and I'm gonna need all my hands on deck to finish. At the end of the day, I want to be able to say I remodeled this place all by myself. Right, Johnnies? Yeah, bro! So yeah, me and Mies are set on seeing this through the end. But once we're finished, it's gonna be the finest hotel in the whole world. Just you wait. Welcome to Johnny Seaside in Remake! Wow! So, what do you think, bro? I'm impressed. Without you guys, none of this would have been possible. You are absolutely right. You couldn't have done any of this without my incredible ninjutsu. Couldn't have done it without the J-Squad, either. <laughs> Don't go getting all sentimental. We were just doing what you would have done. You said it. We, we all, all want what's, what's best, best for this place. place. It's, it's our home. home. And, and none, none of us would, would be standing, standing here today if it weren't, weren't for, for you, you Johnny, Johnny Prime. Prime. Truly, you are the realest bro, bro. <laughs> well, I'm just happy to know that whatever trials await, we'll face them together. Uh, yeah, about that. Now that all the renovations are complete, I think it's time that we peace out. What? Don't worry, you got this, Johnny. Johnny? You don't need us anymore, Johnny. You've got you. Johnny! Johnny Us! Johnny's! You know, I couldn't stand listening to them bicker. And now, I already miss the sound of our melodious voice. I lost a part of myself today. You gonna let that stop you? Huh? You've got a hotel to run. That's true. I remodeled this place with my own 14 hands. I owe it to me and myself to see that our hard work doesn't go to waste. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be seven Johnnies in one. <laughs> I think one of you is more than enough. Oh, that means a lot coming from you, bro. Oh, almost forgot. I set up a little space to show off your collection. I'd love to showcase any rare or interesting artifacts you happen to come across. And rest assured, you'll be handsomely rewarded for them. I've got my heart set on becoming the best in the business, so look out, hotel industry! We'll attract guests from far and wide, with luxurious lodgings and unbeatable hospitality. But you'll always have a room with your name on it, my bro, because when you're here, you're Johnny. <laughs> You're the one who got into it with that Shinra scientist. Oh, wow, it is you. I'm Fran. And I'm Naomi. Name's Yorda. And we would like to hire you for a job. 
Interested? That depends. It's simple. Girl and boy go on a date. Easy peasy, right? A date? The three of us are designers for Costa del Sol's premier fashion boutique. For our next line, we're thinking something sexy. Perfect for the beach, the bar, or in the boudoir. But creatively speaking, it's been a struggle. We've been racking our brains forever. And the showcase is basically now. It's do or die, and we don't want to kill our careers. So, that's where you come in. We want to see a real couple on a date, for inspiration. Well, sound like a good gig? Pojo, as in that Shinra guy? We were just doing the mayor a favor, that's all. And if we're being honest, we figured it couldn't hurt to butter up a company bigwig. We got a business to run. Because we can tell you like your women assertive. And since we're all about strong, confident ladies, we thought, ka-ching! One look at you and we knew that woman's not afraid to take what she wants. Maybe? I mean, uh, I'd like to think so. We knew you would! And so, we've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like you. Get rowdy at Run Wild! Be ready to swashbuckle at Pirate's Rampage! This is going to be your best date yet. We'll make sure of it. Wow, look at that score! Those were some pro numbers. But what did the lady think? Oh, got me right through the heart, the cat. <laughs> you know, the secret is to aim for the head, not the heart. She never once took her eyes off her man. And the way she stared at him, the score didn't matter. Thanks, cuties. That was just what I needed. I'll head back now that the creative juices are flowing again. You two, however, still have a date to finish. Go find Naomi at Run Wild. Someone took their sweet time, I see. Better hurry or the game will start without you. What game? Run Wild, of course. Tell me you've heard of it. It's only the hottest sport in town. Not hard to guess why, seeing all those cutie wooties. I mean, it's the perfect spot for a date. Are you ready to go? All right. Wish me luck, okay? You do know this is for animals, right? Not people? People are technically animals, too. Right? So it's cool. Wrong! Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but your pet can. Though I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Red's got this. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. Give me an R! Give me an E! Give me a D! You're like a red bolt shooting across that field! I am quick on my feet. The three of us should go around sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you enjoy losing. Hmm. Their dog is the glue that binds their relationship. And watching their little guy give it his all out there only served to strengthen their bond. That's it! I'm such a genius! I've got to get this idea down on paper! I need to get back to the shop, like, yesterday! Yord is at the stables for the final part of your date. So what are you waiting for? Get those tushies on a chocobo! There you are! Okay, I've got a great activity for you. So the idea is to ride Kaima here and enjoy a romantic stroll along the beach. On its own sounds like a huge yawn fest, so try hunting for shells while you're at it. How about you bring me the largest one you can find? Sound good? I'll be chillin' back here. 
So you two run along and have yourselves one shell of a time. Welcome back, you two. So, happen to find any neat shells out there? How is the beach? Romantic? <gasps> Whoa. Huge, right? Dang. That thing belongs in a museum or something. I can't help but wonder what is making her smile from ear to ear like that. Is it the shells? Or... Aha! I've got it! Inspiration has finally struck! I know what to make! But before I go, swing by the fashion showcase. We want you front row center! See you there! Wanna shoot your shot? This swimsuit's got perfect aim. <laughs> Love might be a game, but you'll never lose in this winning ensemble. Wanna land a big catch? With this look, it'll be hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> My friends! Mom, you doesn't ache for that perfect swimsuit physique. You want to get ripped? You want a hot spot? Then you better train with the best of the best. So come, come join, join our, our gym, gym and muscle, muscle maximize. I'm so glad you came. So, what did you think of the show? You were the inspo, after all. I absolutely loved it. But the two of us didn't do anything inspo-worthy. We just had fun. That's what we wanted. Happy couples get us inspired and fired up. Exactly. This place is more than just a vacay spot. It's a paradise where people come to create lifelong memories. And making sure they do is what we do best. So next time you swing by, promise to frolic in the waters, bask in the sun. Enjoy our town to its fullest and leave with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me? Is that Cloud? Oh, hey! You trade the city for the beach, too? What are you doing here? Relaxing, really. We're on our yearly beach retreat. And commissioning this year's new singlets from these talented young women. <laughs> oh, right. That reminds me. Stop by the training facility when you have a moment. We're in need of your particular skills. Okay. Ah, oh, there you are. Glad you could make it. Cloud, Tifa, once a year we take a retreat to enjoy the sun and sea breeze. Nothing like getting some games in the great outdoors. What do you say? Care to sweat with us? I think I would. I haven't done a proper workout in forever. Well, we'll happily help you both become your best selves. Train with us as long as you like. You mean it? Well, I might just take you up on that. Here's a question for you, Cloud. What would you say is the key to a good workout? Weight exercises will only take you so far. If you want to get really jacked, you'll need the resistance only equipment can provide. And as luck would have it, we've got a full assortment right here. Now let's get down to business, shall we? The reason I wanted you to stop by? Monsters have been spotted skulking around the facility and I want them gone. Sure. Should be easy enough. Splendid. We can't train our bodies unless our minds are at ease. So you'll be doing all of us muscle heads a big favor. Oh, hey there, Cloud. Tifa. Heard you two took care of our little monster problem. Can't thank you enough. Now we can get back to training fiend free. Excuse me. Sorry to butt in, but you wouldn't happen to be the one who beat these guys in a pull-up contest, would you? Uh. 
Watch it, rookie! Don't badmouth us! But that's how it went down, right? <laughs> You're Tifa, right? After I heard how you crushed it, I knew I had to join the gym. You're the reason I'm here! Oh, wow. And I'm not your only fan. Look, all of us signed up because we wanted to be just like you. It's just as she says. Thanks to you, our female membership has absolutely skyrocketed. Needless to say, we're very grateful. I didn't really do anything. Are you kidding me? You're literally my inspiration! Which is why I... Uh... I want to challenge you to a sit-up contest! Uh, right now? So you know, Amina's been training to achieve your look, Tifa. You'd be helping her measure her progress. Let me sweeten the deal. If your abs prove superior, I'll add a bonus to your reward. How's that sound? <laughs> wow, you've got abs of adamantite. Thanks a lot. You put up a good fight, though. Like I said, you're an inspiration to me, to all of us. Nobody's born with a beautiful physique like yours. I can tell you poured gallons of blood, sweat, and tears into your training. Honestly, I... Sorry. Thank you. Glad I could help. Well, actually, I was hoping that, if it's not too much to ask, would you, Tifa, be my muscle mentor? Me? Really? I don't know. By all means, you have my blessing. If you don't mind dropping by from time to time, I'm sure she'd benefit from your advice. Might as well. If that's what you want, then I'll back you up. Oh my gosh! Thanks, coach! <laughs> <laughs> Muscle mentor. Has a nice ring to it. There you go, then. Your extermination fee. And is promised a little extra for helping her out. Come back whenever you want to pump some iron. You're always welcome. What? Mommy said I'm not supposed to talk to you. Oh, is that so? Well then, why don't you talk to this old fella instead? He's tough. Tougher than he looks. And real good at solving people's problems, right? Of course I'm soft on kids. Helping them's what we do. News to me. Well, what's the problem? Uh, you see, Mr. Birdie ran away and hasn't come back. Oh, Mr. Birdie's a bird friend of ours? His head is all pointy. Kinda like yours, mister. Pointy, huh? I bet they're talking about Cloud Jr. Who's that? Your bird friend. He had a run-in with a nasty fiend, and we saved his tiny behind. No way! You guys, Grandpa said he saw Mr. Birdie heading toward the desert. What? But well, we aren't allowed to go all the way out there. You just leave it to us. We'll find your friend. Really? Promise. Great. Grandpa said there's some old birdhouses out in the desert that people built back in the Republic days. He said those are good places to set traps. Oh, and my mommy told me you can craft them yourself if you've got the right chip. Don't you worry. We'll get those bird traps ready in no time, won't we? Scared, Junior. Thought you were gonna wind up Monster Child. Oh, is that your way of saying you're good on your own? But go straight home. You hear me? Hey, Mister, he's back. Club Junior came back. Huh. Of course he did. When we found him, we said, your friends are looking for you. You head straight home. <laughs> no wonder. Thank you so much. Hey, just doing a job. Go on, eat up. So 
Someday you're gonna be big and strong and scare away all the monsters. Hope I can bring Marlene back here one day. Tell her about her home and everything else. You sure that's a good idea? I owe it to her father. You'll feel better, maybe, but how do you think she'll feel? Don't know, man. <sighs> What's up? My dad says we're supposed to stay away from you. Sorry. That's so. <laughs> well, don't want to get you in trouble. Us old fellas gotta go. Take care of Cloud Jr. Thanks again for all your help, mister! Don't mention it. Well, didn't think y'all be back so soon. Glad you're here in any case. I got a situation. See for yourself. We have one of your roped men. If you want him back, it will cost you one million gil. Agree to the terms, and we'll take care of the rest. What's this? Beats the hell out of me. Guess some fool got it in their head I was making money off my research. You gonna pay up? Look at this place. Can barely afford bandages, never mind a ransom. <sighs> Only option is to save the man myself. Or hire the right merc to save him for me. Or the right merc's friend, to be more precise. Who better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking? One finer than any human could ever possess. Well, I can't argue with you there. That was easy. So where do we start? Curious about the guy you got nabbed? Well, what is there to say? I mean, their most notable traits ain't exactly unique. Not like I can give you a name or next to kin, neither. Could try to question the others, but we'd both know how that'd go. Cloud, the letter, if you don't mind. <laughs> There's a strong scent, but... Cologne, perhaps? How about that? Picked up the trail already. Ah, which reminds me. There's a compound in our robed friend's sweat that glows when exposed to this light. Just hope it helps on. Oh. Hello there. Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. Aw. You must be hungry, huh? Sorry, but this is people food. <sighs> Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella with a chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. This is the kidnapper's camp. No sign of them. So, do we wait? Help! Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave! <sighs> Why would we know anything? We were too freaked out to even look at him. <sighs> the kidnapper could be anywhere. Or anyone. The smell. Cloud, it's them. Shit. Oh, boo! Aren't you a clever little puppy? Sniffing out the truth. Okay, where is he? Think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. In fact, we're the world's greatest double act. Ellie, the elusive! Bury the brash! <laughs> I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. 
Guess we'll never know. him up. What? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. Stay a while! Sure, you got lots to catch up on! Suck it, losers! Let him go. We got our man. <sighs> Let's take him back to Sheeran. Glad to see our man still alive. And save for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was gonna have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days, I'll win you over. <laughs> At ease, young soldier. I took your measure the moment you set foot in this town. Hard not to, given your presence. I am Navalon of the Thousand Eyes. Years of meditation have granted me sight beyond sight. It is this clarity which shows me all, even that which some wish to keep hidden. You exude a powerful yet troubled aura. Indeed. It makes you the perfect opponent. Come, and don't you dare hold anything back. My name... 
is Lodrell Balmont. And I am the creator of the game Queen's Blood. Which means that... This nightmare is of my own making. I didn't know. How could I? Players of particular skill have experienced strange visions of late. Visions in which one is visited by the ghost of the game's creator, who speaks of portentous events. To add another wrinkle, some of the world's very best have recently met with unnaturally violent deaths. People are calling this the Curse of the Drell. Not even my third eye can discern the true cause, Though it is clearly something sinister. If you wish to continue on the path of the card, then remain vigilant. Though it may lead to your undoing. Choke 
Nothing personal. With the power of his cannon! Leave it to me. Too much fun for you! Here we go. No time to celebrate.